Hello, this is Katie from Vintage and Vinyl. I'll be spinning some rock and 50s records every week here on my channel, as well as sharing some cool Coca-Cola collectibles and other neat vintage finds. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl, back with another great video for you today. In this video, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite Chuck Berry records. And I got these in St. Louis in a little area called the Del Mar Loop, and it's called the Loop because there's a trolley that runs through it, and it kind of loops around and comes back through. So it's called the Del Mar Loop. And if you don't know, Chuck Berry was from St. Louis, so this is a little area that pays big homage to him. There's the famous Blueberry Hill restaurant and live music venue and of course Chuck Berry's play there a lot and they have the largest collection of Chuck Berry memorabilia in the world uh, so really great place to check out if you love Chuck Berry and early rock and roll and you can eat in one of their many vintage themed rooms they have Pac-Man uh, jukeboxes you know everything it's just really a cool place and then they have the big Chuck Berry statue in the middle of the loop and then Chuck Berry is on a lot of murals on different buildings and my favorite record store in the entire US probably the best one I've ever been to is vintage and vinyl or vintage vinyl in the loop and it is just a great record store I think that they are the most well organized place I have ever been to and I love that they make sure that their records are categorized not only by artist but also by the genre of music and I think that works out really well so you can go to um, rhythm and blues and then find Chuck Berry and it's just really easy but you do need a couple of hours if you're going to go visit um, vintage vinyl because it's a pretty big store it's about the size of a small warehouse so you could really spend hours crate digging and it's a lot of fun but I got some of these Chuck Berry records there and they are original pressings which is really fun I, I just love finding original pressings I've said this before on my channel but I don't think that um, newer pressings or re-releases sound as good as the original because they used different equipment back then when they were recording the music uh, so the tubes those vintage tubes really kind of create a warm sound and it comes through on the record and sometimes you can feel like you're actually listening to the artist right in front of you of course you know having a good stereo system helps but just having that original pressing makes all the difference I think but they are very very expensive and you want to make sure that you get something that's original and don't kind of get scammed because a lot of the uh, records will come out on the same label and have the same cover but they may not be an original pressing so you want to look for that um, but I do like original pressings the, the new releases kind of compress the audio and just sometimes it doesn't sound the same so make sure if you're looking for records and you can try to get original pressings um, now Chuck Berry records can go anywhere online original from 100 to like 150 upwards and I was lucky enough to get these uh, on a sale at Vintage Vinyl. They were having a great sale where if you got anything like under six dollars uh, you'd get like buy two get one free and then they had a huge uh, like 40 percent off or something on uh, some of their other records and uh, these I think were 45 dollars each but I did get a discount on them so that was pretty easy and I came out of there with a stack of records probably like that tall I don't know how I got them back on the airplane but there was just so many good 50s records that I had never seen anywhere else that I was able to buy there so I was very excited so the first uh, Chuck Berry record I want to share with you is Johnny B. Good and I love this record here lots of great chuck berry hits uh, and this one uh, has johnny b good memphis tennessee roll over beethoven sweet little 16 school days maybelline reeling and a rockin and rock and roll music and back in the usa really really great album uh, and of course i think johnny b good is probably one of chuck berry's 
biggest hits, so everyone knows that. But I love this album. If I had to pick a favorite, and it's hard because all of these songs are great, I probably have to pick two, and that will be Roll Over Beethoven and Sweet Little Sixteen. The next record I got is not a original pressing, but this is a good record. I've listened to it. It sounds good. Um, so if you're an audiophile and you'll really like the sound of this, it, it doesn't have any distortion or any issues with it. But uh, this is a two record set. It's uh, original hits of Chuck Berry, and it is on Chess Records. If you don't know a lot of the uh, records Chuck Berry did were on uh, produced on Ch Chess Records. And I love this, this record. So if you want to get your feet wet with Chuck Berry and you don't want to buy original pressings, this is a really good uh, record to have because it has all of his greatest hits on it. So you have Maybelline, 30 Days, You Can't Catch Me, Too Much Monkey Business, Brown Eyed Handsome Man, Roll Over Beethoven, Havana Moon, School Days, Rock and Roll Music, Oh Baby Doll, Reelin' and a Rockin', Sweet Little Sixteen, Johnny B. Good, Around and Around, Carol, Beautiful Delilah, Memphis, Sweet Little Rock and Roller, Little Queenie, Almost Growin', Back in the USA, Let It Rock, Bye Bye Johnny, I'm Talking About You, Come On, Nadine, No Particular Place to Go, and I Want to Be Your Driver. And this is a double gatefold. Really great album. I think it's just on black vinyl. Yeah, just black vinyl. And if you don't know, uh, I've talked about this before, but I love these um, high fidelity sleeves. They really protect your records from scratching and from static, which you don't want when you play uh, records at all. That's not good for your system. So uh, this record is so great and there are so many hits on this so if I had to pick I'm gonna say from the blue side I'll pick rock and roll music and reelin and a rockin and if I had to pick from the red side I'd say sweet little rock and roller and little Queenie are my favorite songs but just a great great record the next record I got is an original pressing and it is called rockin at the hops Chuck Berry Oh, and this has great music on it. Uh, it has Bye Bye Johnny, Worried Life Blues, Down the Road a Piece, Confessing the Blues, Too Poop to Pop, Mad Lad, I Got to Find My Baby, Betty Jean, Childhood Sweetheart, Broken Arrow, Drifting Blues, and Let It Rock. Now, one of the ways you can tell if you're getting an original pressing or not is you want to look at the record itself. There's a quality to some of these older um, record sleeves or cardboard here that you can just feel. It's nice and thick um, and it has like a paper backing and then you can see here that it's advertising other Chuck Berry records of the time. So a lot of times you'll get those kind of things when you get an original pressing. But there is one way to tell for sure and I do not know how to read these letters very well. I am learning, so if you uh, look it up online, you can learn too. But in the dead wax of the record, and I'll try to show this on camera, there's some markings there. Um, and they symbolize um, the production numbers and copies of records. So you could have like, this is from the first lacquer and it's the 234th record that was produced or, you know, something like that. And you can read that and kind of help figure out if it's original or not. And I am still learning about that. So if you guys uh, know how to read that and you want to do a video on it, that would be great. You could post that in the comments down below and we can all learn something from that. But this is a great record. Lots of really wonderful music. If I had to pick, some of my favorite songs would be Confessing the Blues and Betty Jean. Great album. The next album, I was really excited when I saw it in vintage vinyl because this had been online for like $150 on Discogs and I'm not paying that for one record. But this is Chuck Berry's Fresh Berries. And on the back, it has It Wasn't Me, Run Run Joe, Every Day We Rock and Roll, One For My Baby, Welcome Back Pretty Baby, It's My Own Business, 
right off of Rampart Street via Condios, Merrill Lee We Rock and Roll, My Mustang Ford, Ain't That Just Like a Woman, We Our Blues, great, great music. So if I had to pick, my favorite songs on this would probably be Every Day We Rock and Roll and uh, Merrily We Rock and Roll. But again, it's hard to pick because the songs are just great. The next record I got is Chuck Berry's New Jukebox Hits. And again, this one's on chess like the other ones. And I'm taking the plastic sleeve off because it's a little bit easier to see on camera. But you do want to make sure when you store these that you're using a plastic sleeve. And this is a very thick, like two mil poly sleeve. And you want to make sure they're nice and thick and that you're protecting them because water and dust and dirt can get in and can really affect the jacket here. And you don't want to do that. So this says on the back that it has, I'm talking about you. Diploma for two, 13 question method, away from you, don't lie to me, the way it was before, little star, route 66, sweet 16, run around, stop and listen, and rip it up. And probably my favorite songs from this would be route 66 and sweet 16. You just can't beat Chuck Berry sound. I'm just in love with his music and I think the sound is just so classically vintage and really fun um, early rock and roll. The last record here I want to share with you is called St. Louis to Liverpool. It is Chuck Berry. It is, uh, has Little Marie, You Never Can Tell, No Particular Place to Go, Go Bobby Soxer, Our Little Rendezvous, Merry Christmas Baby, Promised Land, Things I Used to Do, Liverpool Drive, Night Beat, U2, and Brenda Lee. So if I had to pick my favorite songs from this record, I would have to say Go Bobby Soxer and Night Beat are my favorite. But listening to these records really has kept me sane during this quarantine and given me something to do. I love old uh, vintage uh, 50s and 60s music, especially early rock and roll, that sort of rhythm and blues. Rockabilly is uh, really some of my favorite things to listen to, along with 50s doo-wop. But I hope you guys enjoyed these records. Please leave a comment down below which ones were your favorite. I can't wait to hear from you, and I will do my best to respond to everyone. I hope you're having a great day, staying in, staying safe, and binging YouTube.